Are you sick of manually clicking buttons on a keyboard? Manually moving the mouse and having to click through long forms on the internet? Well, Clickerless Cage version 0.0.2 has just been released. Clickerless Cage is a Chrome extension. It takes a natural language goal prompt and executes actions on the web to achieve that goal. Let me show you how to install it and get it running. You'll always find the latest version of Clickerless Cage on the GitHub page. There's also a listing on the Chrome extension store, but this is always outdated. So if you want the latest version, go to the GitHub page. The link will be in the description and click on releases here on the right. First step, scroll down uh, here, the zip file here. Click on that. It should download. And then you want to open the zip and then put this folder somewhere on your computer. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. And then you want to go to the extensions page. You can either go to this URL, Chrome colon dash dash extensions or you can find it here manage extensions come dash dash extensions and you want to make sure developer mode is on up the top right here developer mode then click load unpacked find the folder that we just extracted mine was on my desktop so here and then click on the folder once and click select folder that should bring up clickerless cage right here there we go now you should see it in your extensions by clicking the extensions i like to pin mine so i always have it here and if it's working it should work like this it'll open up and it'll start transcribing what you say now it won't actually work until you put in your um, open router api key here and let me show you how you can get that go to openrouter.ai so open router is a really nice way to interact with pretty much any large language model through one API, one API key. Um, so you sign up, make an account here, and then go to keys and create a key. You can also add credits here in credits if you want to use the models that cost money, but they do also have a bunch of free models and Gemini Flash is for instance free. So yeah, make your key, copy the key and paste it in Clickerless Cage's settings. Once you've done that, you're good to go. You can start using Clickerless Cage from here or I like to use the shortcut sometimes because I don't want to click. So the shortcut is Control Shift L on Windows and you press that and it'll come up and then you just say whatever you want to say. Go to Twitter and tweet that Clickerless Cage you press enter to submit it and it should start doing what you told it to do. Now it's very early days, this is quite broken so don't expect it to work very well but um, over time we will be adding more reliability, more features. You can see it doing what it is here and on the right you have this UI to kind of communicate with you. Um, and yeah, you can see it's probably missed the post button. Don't expect it to work um very well at all this is still version 0.0.2 .0 very early days um but yeah this is completely open source i would love some help developing it check it out on github clickerless cage um, by aj47 and yeah super easy tutorial also another thing if i've noted uh i forgot to mention is you can press stop execution here and actually um and actually type your own message or use your voice with control shift K to send a new message from within this tab. So I can say, uh, you will have to allow the mic on new windows though. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way around this. Right, I like bananas instead in the input field. And there you go. It's, it's able to adapt and hopefully you can guide it to um, do what you want. Overall, this is not using Vision, so I think it's like a super fast and hopefully in the future if it's reliable as well, I think there's definitely a place for a tool like this. Another thing I'm hoping to add is the ability to orchestrate um, multiple agents across multiple tabs. Um, but yeah, that is a bit more complex, so I'm not sure when that will be released.